Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Captive in the so-called 15-minute cities, eat bugs and no meat, immerse in the metaverse, and a never-ending feed of pharmaceuticals, and all that by force, otherwise, your universal basic income, or UPI, gets cut off. Lower motorway speeds and driving ban and plan to tackle oil reliance. Here's an extract from Daily Echo article. Lowering motorway speed limits and introducing driving bans on Sunday are ideas being suggested to cut Britain's reliance on oil. The ideas are part of a 10-point plan proposed by the International Energy Agency in a bid to reduce global oil demand by 2.7 million barrels per day. Motorway speed limits would be reduced by 6 miles per hour across the country under the proposals, while the plan also suggests a ban on driving in cities every Sunday. This is horse It has nothing to do with reducing reliance on oil. And everything to do with the WEF and UN Sustainable Development Agenda 2030. You know what's going to happen. The existing stream of folks leaving countries implementing these policies will turn into a flood. More on this in a minute. With it, will come capital controls, because, the sociopaths driving this agenda will never see their own policies as the problem. No. It's always those silly peasants who are the problem. In case you're wondering, that's you. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Irish considering massive cattle culling. We are flabbergasted that killing 200,000 head of cattle is even a consideration. Wasn't Ireland famous for its potato famine? You would think that people would learn from history. I am coming to the view that little or nothing is learnt by studying history. When will folks wake up to this delusional stuff going on? Perhaps, when their living standards take a bat to the knees. In any event, the Irish merely considering the elimination of 10% of their cattle herd highlights just how strong this climate move is. But it's not solely an Irish issue. This cancer has spread to all of the West. German authorities have advised residents of Germany to consume no more than 10 grams of meat per day, as discussed in an article published by Eastern Herald. The black market trade in steaks is going to be absolutely loco. When they told us we'd eat the bugs, they didn't mention the word willingly. Here's how it works in case you've not figured it out, or if you need to explain things to friends who have perhaps thus far been gullible enough to buy into the entire the world is going through a climate <laughs> and life itself will end and pick your suitable date hogwash. The financial considerations that need to be made in order to meet the green energy targets mean that all things that currently sustain life itself, in other words energy and food being at the top of the list, become uneconomical and are shut down. This is creating the greatest convexity I've ever seen in my career. In fact, it is the greatest I've ever seen relative to my readings of history going back hundreds of years. What is obvious is, the sector's coming under attack. What is more challenging is, determining from an investment standpoint the jurisdictions or countries which will ultimately repudiate this Malthusian genocidal eugenic agenda. We need plus 330 mines in 12 years to feed battery demand, according to Stockhead. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. 
simple math, which a 10-year-old should be able to do, reveals that this entire charade is not only going to fall short. It is not going to come anywhere near close, which begs the question. What is it that is planned? The answer is that the paths at the UN and in Washington have no real intent for the peasants to continue with their current standard of living. They intend for us all to live in our 15-minute cities, eating bugs, immersed in the metaverse, and hooked up to a never-ending feed of pharmaceuticals, which we'll be forced to take, otherwise, your UBI, or universal basic income, gets cut off. That is their plan, and it is currently under implementation. It is surprisingly successful. The pushback is rather mediocre, and that is more easily understood by the fourth turning. By and large, the West is in a fourth turning. People are fat, well-fed, lazy physically and intellectually. Unprepared to sacrifice their relative comforts, they will be largely sacrificed. The next generation will have to come out stronger. This may happen in some places. We can certainly hope so. What is also possible and not discussed much is that a long dark age could take hold. Certainly, it's happened before. What I do know is that nothing happens in a vacuum. And we are seeing this. The weakening of the entire Western middle class is being met with both emigration of the awake and typically wealthy class to pockets, which are benefiting from the collapse. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.